Hello friends, Amy here. I'm going to read to you a segment from my journey's journal, from my escetamine therapy. Um, it was during a time of mania that I was going through. You see, there were so many things that I went through, so many emotions, so many uh, feelings, sensations, everything, but mania was a major one. Um, so this is an example, and uh, yeah. I got through it from breathing, um, inhale peace, exhale love, inhale love, exhale peace, and I got through it from just slowing down, and sometimes just crying my eyes out, goodness, it was a crazy time, I still have these moments of occasionally, but definitely not as often as I did then, I had a full month of this at least, so uh, here you go. Inhale peace, exhale love, inhale love, exhale peace. Today has been a long day to navigate through, headspace wise. I've spent all of the morning's time quiet, observing the day's passing. I'm thoroughly exhausted, I feel out of sorts a bit, no center to gravitate towards or hold on to but rather a sense of exposed, unwalled, raw vulnerability. I'm emotional again today. I have the sense that I am straddling two realms of existing. This is really difficult to be awake in another realm of being. I feel the walls I have caused others to create against me and it is so agonizingly painful. Too emotional. Tears of rejection are bombarding my waking mind. A continually active mind trying to fuse two lives, two worlds, two people, to one sure-footed existence rooted in the present moment. This has been one aspect of my experience. It's a beautiful day today. I sure hope you're enjoying yourself. I just wanted to bring up a topic. A topic that's in my book up the breadcrumbs but this topic is one that's of very importance most important mania something I experienced daily for about a month and a half at least mania having absolute no control over your emotions your feelings your reality, your perception of it, no control. Having no foundation or grounding, no sensation of peace or comfort. Just devastation, despair. Uncontrollable tears. Uncontrollable mind bringing up memory after memory that you had no idea that you had, reliving traumatic events over and over again that you never knew that happened. Mania, something I learned to get through throughout this treatment of esketamine therapy. And in my book, I have this covered. I go into the principles of mania, what I went through and how it manifested. I also go through how I got out of that mania and continue to get out of that mania because at times it still happens. But the way to control that or to extract yourself from that mania that I found for myself is to slow down for the moment. Inhale love. Exhale peace. Inhale love. Exhale peace. And continually doing so until I'm calm and centered. My breath is steady. My mind is still. 
Focusing on my breath is vital in those experiences of mania. Just a little tip in case you do have issues with anxiety or mania as I have had, uh, extremely so. Um, again, this is all in my new book, Picking Up the Breadcrumbs.